Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog, and today we're going to be learning everything about CCRP bombing and how to use the Max DOS Anticipation Cube. Let's go! So first things first, Master Arm Arm, Master Mode Air to Ground. We can select the uh, bombing mode CCRP through the OSB here on the uh, right MFD. Or we can also use the um, missile step button on the uh, control stick of the F-16, which is this uh, command right here. We can also select a pair of bombs. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at what we have in the uh, heads-up display. First, in the center here is the uh, target designator box, which is currently set on a uh, on a hangar on an airport. The uh, long vertical line is the azimuth steering line. And this is the line we need to uh, put in the center of our flight path vector to have a uh, precise bomb impact. Bottom left, we have CCRP. It's just a repeat of the uh, air-to-ground mode selected. On the bottom right here is the uh, B18.8, at that's the distance in nautical miles to our target, and just below it, 45 seconds, is the time to it. When we're going to reach 15 miles, we're going to see a scale appear on the right side. That scale is uh, based on a 10 mile range. There it is. 10 miles with a chevron at the top and a bracket in the middle. The top mark of the bracket is the uh, distance for the max toss anticipation queue and max toss delivery. And the bottom bracket is uh, the um, distance for a straight and level delivery. When we're going to reach 10 miles, we're going to see the B will be uh, replaced by an F. Here we go. Uh, the F means it's the, the distance is uh, driven through the fire control radar. The air-to-ground uh, radar capability of the F-16 can uh, determine the distance to the target. Prior to that, when it was a B, it was uh, the distance was calculated through barometric values that were inserted in the mission data computer of the F-16 through the mission editor. Now we are 13 seconds away from max DOS. We're going to see the Chevron start marching down. And it's going to be time to uh, center my flight path vector onto the ASL. And we're going to see what's going to happen at uh, five seconds out. Five seconds out, we got two horizontal bars that just showed up. First one is the um, release queue. Uh, it's going to start marching down the ASL and the bottom one, the thin horizontal line, that is the uh, 4G guide because a uh, max toss delivery in the F-16 is based on a 4G pull-up application of uh, military power and a smooth transition to 4Gs. And this is going to help us uh, achieve that maneuver. When it's going to go up the ASL, we're going to match it with our flight path vector. Let's continue. Two seconds out, we have the uh, big circle that appears. That is the uh, max toss anticipation queue. It, it's telling the pilot to get ready for the pull. Now it starts flashing, meaning that it's time to start the pull. But if you look at the WAGS uh, video, you're going to see that when he reaches that point in time, there is a number next to the chevron and at the bottom of the bracket. We are not there yet. I strongly suggest that you wait until those numbers appear. Otherwise, you're going to start pulling and you're right on the edge of the uh, flight envelope of the bombs. And most of the time, the bombs will not release. It's not going to work. So be patient. Wait one or two extra potatoes and then start your poll once you see those numbers show up. Okay, now would be time to start the poll. The number next to the chevron uh, is uh, 32, meaning 32 degrees. So that means that 
as we pull up, the airplane is going to reach a uh, nose up attitude of 32 degrees when the bomb will get released. And that will also uh, mean that the altitude will be at 7,700 feet when we are at 32 degrees nose up. Currently 6,700 feet, we, we're going to have climbed 1,000 feet when we reach 32 degrees. Let's continue. Press the uh, pickle button, pull, try to reach that thin horizontal line, 4 Gs. Pull, 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 and bombs away. And as you can see with the maneuver, we're dropping the bombs as we're climbing. So we're giving the bombs an upward moment. And uh, that gives us a little bit more reach, meaning we can uh, hit targets from, from a further distance. Right on target, not bad. Next, we're gonna use the uh, A-50 there on the ramp to do a straight and level CCRP attack. Now, since we have a uh, waypoint near the uh, aircraft, the A-50, we can slew the target box onto it, and then we can proceed with the attack. All right. So what just happened here is that the chevron is inside the top of the bracket. We saw the uh, max toss anticipation queue appear, and all we have to do is disregard it. A second countdown has started, and this countdown currently at 16 seconds is for a straight and level uh, attack. So that is what we're gonna do. Same principle applies. We fly the flight path vector right on the ASL line and we wait for the release queue to come down. And uh, we can hold the pickle button anytime uh, in between. And the bomb is gonna release when the uh, release queue intersects with the flight path vector. Pickle button pressed and maintain depressed. Bombs away. Okay, one last example where we're gonna hit a uh, the control tower of the airport, and uh, this time with. Uh, no pausing, so you can see all the symbology happen all at once. Okay, coming in at a low altitude this time, three seconds from the toss, big circle appears, starts flashing, wait, look at the bracket, numbers, here we go, pull up, press the and hold the weapon release button. Go for four Gs and bombs away. That's it for today, folks. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel, comment, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.